Hi, I'm Brian Halverson and I'm a dentist. I've been in practice for over 35 years and I've written a book about my principles on holistic dentistry. The book is called Great Teeth for Life. This video I discuss receding gums. Now you can have various reasons for receding gums. In the younger generation it's mainly due to possibly over-enthusiastic brushing which is literally wearing away the surface so that the gum wears away and exposes more of the root. This is slightly complicated by the fact that it depends on where the tooth is actually positioned in the jawbone and sometimes there just isn't very much bone to surround the tooth to start with and it quickly may just shrink back. This is not a disease and is not likely to cause the loss of a tooth. It may be unsightly and you may then need to talk to your dentist about how possibly you could cosmetically help, but this is not a disease. The next uh, possible situation where you may notice receding gums is actually just purely aging. That as we get older, the gum and the jawbone does shrink back from the roots of the teeth. And so this again is a natural process, but I often find my patients do get slightly alarmed when they see that their, uh, their roots are more exposed and again, possibly unsightly. Now, by trying to brush them, you can't sort of brush them back. Once you've actually, uh, these gums have shrunk back, all you can really do is keep them healthy by good hygiene uh, around where they join the tooth. Trying to comb the gums back will only lead to some pockets building up and possibly gum disease. Now gum disease is often the most common cause of receding gums. And this is where the bacteria and plaque have actually caused the bone to shrink back because of disease. And this um, is again permanent, we cannot push the gums back to where they used to be without actually covering up the disease process. So what we try to do, especially with the help of a hygienist, is actually to make sure that as the gums recede, all the uh, various roots, shapes and everything else are kept clean and so that this process does not proceed. Ironically, um, when the gums have shrunk and they're kept healthy, we may not see the gums shrinking back, but by keeping them looking healthy and are healthy, we can actually stop this process from occurring. I hope these tips and explanations may help explain about receding gums. Thank you.